To say that I've tried a lot of headsets would be kind of an understatement. From the very beginning of this YouTube channel to now, I have had three headsets that I've had as a main driver, and I have tested somewhere around like eight or nine. I have now found a new main driver. So before I go on, don't forget to like the video if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, link is down below to the merch store. Go get some great merch. So these are the Logitech G Pro X Wireless. They are a Logitech branded headset that came out a little bit after um, their acquisition of Blue. I don't know if this was out before or after their acquisition of Astro, um, but this has 50 millimeter Pro G drivers and it supports surround sound. Now, I don't really like surround sound games. However, it sounds interesting. I made it funny. I don't believe this has any noise canceling. However, there is a um, bit of sound isolation if you use their premium leatherette or pleather, let's just, their pleather ear pads, or you can go with the more comfy, in my opinion, comfy fabric. And they do also support third party that use the same kind of mounting, which is the same kind of ear pads I could use for the Arctis Pro Wireless. And also would mean the same ones I have on the adapter for my Nova Pro Wireless, which is currently in the bin right here, my headset bin. They are all co also compatible with the PS5 and PS4, as well as Nintendo Switch and probably the Xboxes, I imagine. However, I'm not positive. I would think so because all it is is a USB dongle that I have um, on the front of my computer here at just off screen. It's a decent sized dongle. It's about the normal size of a normal USB, which honestly isn't a horrible thing that, uh, well, not a horrible thing to me considering I'm going from DAX to this. So it is a bit of a smaller size. For this test also, I did completely take out my Arctis Pro, Pro Wireless, Nova Pro Wireless, as well as the DAC and undownloaded SteelSeries. This was because I wanted to test something. For some reason, every now and then, I would have just horrible connection issues on the Nova Pro Wireless, where I would just lose connection when I was right here, two feet away from my DAC at very most. I haven't had that problem with these, and that's a very much smaller receiver. So I want to know what's going on. It's been a problem that's plagued my Nova Pro Wirelesses since I got them. And I have not had that problem with my Pro Wireless, the previous version, which is currently connected to my PS4. So something's going on there, but I digress. When you open up the box, it comes with a multitude of things. First, this detachable microphone, which we will do a test on. Um, I don't imagine it's gonna be sounding a very amazing. Uh, don't get me wrong, Blue is a great, great company for making really good sounding microphones. It's just it's a headset mic, so there's not really a lot they can do. It's gonna sound bad. And even if you EQ a bad sounding mic, it just sounds like a bad sounding mic with EQ. Also comes with, of course, a USB-A to type C charging cable and the dongle. And also this is my favorite part. I love it when companies send these. This little nice, and it's actually padded, which is more than I get on some other ones. Uh, little baggy, I have shit all over this. And it has the nice Logitech logo right here. It's kind of stealth. Um, I wonder if any of the companies actually know I almost never use these. <laughs> For the headset, they're usually other things. Like in my case, I use them for my Dungeons and Dragon minis. Like my very cool orange and purple dinosaur. Look at that T-Rex. He actually looks red on the camera in the dark. Now my main reason for going with Logitech as the one I was looking at, because there were several that I was looking at. I also looked at the Corsair headset that was in a similar price range as well as Razer. Um, 
I don't really have a lot of experience with Razer, but I am going to do some more stuff with theirs anyways. So also it gave me a chance to go back to Logitech and see if their um, software had gotten any better. It was already amazing. And I honestly haven't seen it on an audio thing yet. I kind of want to see more with it after and I can explain why. So this is the Logitech um, G hub software. Uh, my head says at 20%. So just kind of don't worry about that too much right now. And when you get into your headphones, you see this first, it's not going to actually have this all set up. It's going to be this where you can kind of play with the bass and treble as well as your system volume, your mic volume and your side tones. It also gives it a description of the side tones, um, and not much else. I immediately enabled Advanced EQ because I saw something that was very interesting. They have default presets. So it basically is just going to change in how you hear things. From the sounds of most of these, this is very boomy. This actually and the communication one sounds the best. Flat would be pretty close to default to just how it sounds out of the box, at least in my opinion. There's no... um brightness or crispness to the voice it just sounds kind of dull like if you have a monotone teacher at your high school or middle school or even college it's happened to me a lot there's also an fps and a moba multiplayer online battle arena mode which is very entertaining the first person shooter has a very bigger um, base even more than the uh, base boost does and it gives you a very good um, way of hearing uh, footsteps and things around you. MOBA, I don't know what exactly they did. Um, well, I, I know exactly what they did because they changed all these right here. But for some reason, when they do all this, it just intensifies any, um, not movement with your feet, but more of actions like picking up plates and putting them down. They sounded a lot more clear for some reason. I don't know why. The audio was lost, though. I it didn't sound like the dialogue was as big a worry there. Communications is the one that I went with, though, because it sounded the best in terms of both listening to music as well as listening to YouTube videos where it's a lot more talking head. There is a surround sound version. I did not use this. Um, my main reasoning is just I don't do well with surround sound. Surround sound actually um, kind of hurts my ears and annoys my ears a lot. I don't know if it's like a sensitivity thing to me or not, but I didn't test that just because it would driven up me a wall. Um, however, with all these presets, there are more presets and these aren't pre-made by Logitech. They are made by the community. And they also say right here what they were for. So if we want, we need the Pro X, Pro, Pro X wireless gaming headset. These are all the ones that somebody has made with these headsets. You can see, you can see some of these are a lot more aggressive than others. You can see that some of these are a little more minimal because they only changed a few things or they changed nothing at all like this guy for Fortnite. <laughs> um, in general, and this is just, this isn't a me thing. This is a um, something I got while talking to couple of audiophiles that I know. The ones that have the more aggressive one generally aren't probably going to sound as well. The ones that'll sound a little better are going to be ones that are a bit more minimal and have more of like a wave like thing going to it, which is why I like this communication ones because it's actually pretty minimal in terms and also has the wave. Um, and it just sounded the best to me. Very bright, very crisp. Um, there is only a 12 dB of gain on either end for this, so I don't know if that's a limitation on this headset or the or the software. Um, I don't really have another Logitech headset to figure that out, but I'm sure we will figure it out at some point. Now there is also the same thing with the mic. You can just change the gain and leave it as is. You can enable NVIDIA Broadcast, which is actually like a noise reduction thing. It does, um, depending on how noisy your environment is, make your voice not sound as good. And there's also Blue Voice, which when you enable Blue Voice, has more presets. 
And they have ones made for specific Logitech sponsored um, broadcasters or pro gamers. And then they have their own blue voice presets. Just so many presets on this one. And then that's not even talking about the custom presets from the community. Like there's a lot here, guys. Logitech is very good in this case of making sure that the community is capable of enhancing their product, which is amazing. Also, it shows they realize something that Logitech has realized that a community in of itself can help enhance a brand. A brand can only get so far. If the brand does not communicate with community and get along with its community, that brand is not going to last for that long. And Logitech has done a great job in this case. And honestly, it doesn't surprise me considering they are also the company that has, I think that's still considered the best selling mouse in all of gaming, which is the Logitech G502. So what we're going to do here is I can't really show you how these sound. Um, I can, however, show you how the microphone sounds with, with out the blue voice and then with a couple of these. So I'm gonna get a couple of these presets and then I will hand it off to you. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of, thro of stone. Nine for the mortal men doomed to die. One for the dark lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the Dwarf Lords in their Halls of Stone. Nine for mortal men doomed to die. One for the Dark Lord on his Dark Throne in the Lands of Mordor where the shadows lie. To give a kind of reference, I'm going to do it also on this uh, microphone. Keep in mind, though, this is a $100 microphone going into another $100 interface. So the price difference for what I'm assuming how much they paid for this tiny little microphone is probably very vast. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in their halls of stone. Nine for mortal men doomed to die. One for the dark lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them, in the lands of Mordor, where the shadows lie. Alrighty, so did the testing. I was actually very happy. So the only one that I thought was objectively really bad was the big and bright. I don't know what was going on. Uh, it just didn't sound that good to me. Now. Everything else, honestly, for the presets sounded really good. The um, broadcast one, though, was the best sounding. It sounded the very best. And the nice thing about LG's software when it comes down to this is you are capable of fully seeing what they change as you go from preset to preset. And if you find one you like but could do a little better on, you can tweak it. And then it's no longer this. It is now a custom preset and you can make a new preset but it's more specific to you because EQs are more specific to the user. When you have a preset one, it generally does okay, but it can get a little better if you do a little bit of tweaking here and there to get it to be more um, suitable for your own voice and to how you believe you should sound. They also do allow you to reset it so you can change everything back that if you changed, which I think is really nice because if you end up changing a bunch and you don't like it and you want to go back to what it was, you got that option. Now, I didn't show this before because I actually kind of forgot about it, but instead of just this EQ right here, there's advanced controls, which has all of these other settings you can change, like the easer, the limiter, compression, hard pass, high pass filter, noise reduction, things like that. My only thing is gonna be with the noise reduction, you wanna be a little careful. Noise reduction, what it does is it gets rid of noises that you don't want in your video. So for instance, if your fans are really loud on your computer, you can kind of cancel those out. The only problem with noise reduction is that the higher you go on it, 
or the more sound that's going on in the background, your voice kind of gets a little muddied and it doesn't sound as good. So you do want to be careful on that because you don't want to mess up your audio that badly. Now we can talk about the actual physical things of the G Pro X wireless. Honestly, they feel really good on your head, um, especially with the fabric ones that I'm using. I didn't use the pleather just because as I've said before, I sweat a lot in pleather. <laughs> the fabric ones they send you are also very toasty boys. So I would say picking up some third party gel um, ear pads probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm probably gonna take the ones off of my uh, Nova Pro wirelesses for a little bit because I wanna do some more testing on the adapter and see if I can also modify it more. So do get subscribed for that. You will not wanna miss the shenanigans I'm gonna have with these things. But I really enjoy the level system they have. I enjoy uh, how it, the clamping pressure, it's not too hard not too um, light. Uh, my main complaint is just the fabric cups, but that's easily fixed with a third party one. Um, and I can't really blame Logitech on the ear pads in this case, because they send two sets, which is already more than what they send with the Steel Series Nova Pro Wireless. So for $100 cheaper, they send two ear pads. Suck on that Steel Series. Um, past that, really great headset. Honestly, I would recommend to those that would like some good ear quality um, headsets. Are there cheaper ones? Probably. These come in a wired form, which is $100 cheaper. So I'd say just if you want a cheaper for form of these same headsets, get the wired form. I don't like wires. I'm very much a wireless bro. That sounded stupid. Um, I, I don't like wires. I, the, the less amount of wires I can have, the better. Now, who are these for? Well, I basically already touched on it just a little bit now. Um, they're for those that want a wireless connection with great audio, both for yourself and for your viewers or well, listeners in this case. And listeners sounds like I'm talking about YouTubers and Twitch users. I'm not, <laughs> I'm really not. Listeners could just mean your buddies. It can also mean Twitch users that are viewing it content creators or TikTokers and YouTubers, Instagrammers. Uh, is there one I'm missing? Facebooks. You know what? All of that. <laughs> you can really use any of them. My recommendation though is not to use these headset, specifically their mic, for that. Get a actual dedicated microphone. Specifically, if you're on a budget, get a Razer Siren Mini or a Logitech Wave 2, Wave 3 or Wave 1. If you get any of those mics, you're going to have a really nice, good audio. You're going to sound really good. And if you go with the Elgato ones, they support third-party EQing right in their app. So you can EQ your audio right there or... You can EQ it right in OBS. So either way, you're able to EQ your voice to sound even better. You can actually make a $50 mic sound as good as a $2,000 mic. Trust me. I have seen people do it. I cannot do it for you because I am not buying a $2,000 mic. Well, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also, link is down below in the merch store. Go get some great merch. If you guys enjoyed this video, how about you guys go check out the video I did a while back on the HyperX Cloud 2s. If you're looking for a headset mic that actually can be used as a Twitch microphone, best bang for the buck. That's a good starter microphone for you to work your way to an actual dedicated microphone. It is just the best. Thank you guys again for tuning in and have a good day.